everyone, welcome back to another video. The Kia K5 is back on our channel for another interesting video. Today, we're going to race the Charger rear-wheel drive 5.7 Hemi. On my left side, the yellow, we have Jake over there. Uh, he's been, this is, I think, his third or fourth video on my channel. Both cars are stock. That's a rear-wheel drive. This is a front-wheel drive. 290 horsepower. That makes a lot more horsepower than this, but it is also heavier than this, a lot heavier than the k5 gt a couple of people special thanks goes to the owner nima who's be, who's going to be driving it today as well we're going to do a driver switch i know you guys love driver switches um, and on my left side that's jake special thanks goes to him for coming again out for another video we're doing one more video with him this week i'll let you know exactly uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so and don't forget to follow me on instagram at car legion one if you want to know the next upcoming videos um, but for today, we're going to find out whether the actual uh, K5 GT can keep up with that. You see, we did the Kia Stinger versus that. And uh, interesting results. I don't want to uh, give you any spoiler or anything like that, but you should watch that. And that's why we're doing this video today. I'm not going to tell you who won or who lost, but you should definitely watch that. But today, let's see if the K5 can race the Charger 5.7 Daytona rear-wheel drive again automatic transmission and here we have a DCT uh, today we have come at Toronto Motorsport Park in Cayuga Ontario Canada to find out how much faster or how fast is the Kia K5 GT or how much faster is the Charger compared to this it's gonna be an interesting one one has more, more more horsepower but it's also heavier the other one makes less horsepower but it's lighter this is a front-wheel drive that's an all-wheel drive so it's a front-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive battle both are going to have a bit of a trouble. We're going to do different runs, and most importantly, we're going to do rolls because roll races show quite a lot of uh, differences. With that in mind, let's have some fun. Okay, gentlemen, we're going to do two runs first in normal mode. I have mine in normal mode, traction on, and I am set to go on my side. did have a better launch, better launch than me. He is far ahead of me. I am about a one car behind him. And Jesus, that was 175. Whoa. Okay, gentlemen, again, another one in normal mode. We're good to go. All right, normal mode, boys. Come on, Kia. See, this car has no power in normal mode. You can't even launch it properly, but he's got me. He's got me. So right now I have Sport Plus mode engaged with traction and stability control off. So I have launch control available to me. And I'm just going to get lined up here. All right, here we go. Oh uh, yeah, this charger is right beside me. I'm catching him. Oh, I'm past him. 
I am past him. Oh, is it a whole car? I think so. I think so. Woo! I did not hook well there, but I'm gonna try to catch him. Come on! Oh. Ah. I don't think I took him. It was like right there. Okay, so this one, we're gonna put it in sport mode, all the way with traction the way we had it. Um, we're gonna keep it at 50 kilometers right beside each other. When the front end touches the line where Nemo is standing, that's when we take off. This is in automatic mode, not manual transmission. We're good to go. Kia. Uh, oh my goodness oh my god i'm getting him right beside i'm edging in 150 160 and i got him on a roll oh my god and i got him on a roll right at the end right at the end Okay, so this one, we're gonna do it in manual mode, second gear, 50 kilometers at Nima, we hammer it down, okay? I have it in, okay, we're good to go. I got him into fourth gear. Oh my God, I am walking on that car. Damn it. Woo.
Jake, what's happening? Even in manual mode, did you do it right? Should we do it again? Perfectly normal, that's crazy. That is insane. Again, weight plays a huge role in here. But I gotta tell you, like, I don't have to look for your car, I can hear that car. Thanks a lot, man, I appreciate this. Thank you for coming, and this was a lot of fun. First brother, anytime. Wow, this is pretty shocking in many ways. Now, to be fair, you might say, well, Sam, what did you expect? It's a lighter car, it's a front wheel drive, a DCT, it's gonna win. But that car still kept very well. If you can hook them up nicely, you can get good results. The first run we did was okay, but the second run in Sport Plus, it didn't hook up as well. Nonetheless, it was still a very interesting race. I hit about 175 kilometers an hour today in manual mode. Um, in manual mode, this technically doesn't let you shift yourself. It will do it uh, no matter what, and I have it in Sport Plus with traction off. I did shift at some point, but the second gear, it shifted automatically, and then it kept uh, doing it. The reason we did it in manual is because Jake was saying that he could get more power out of the car in manual mode. But as you saw, actually, I was getting more power on this thing for some reason. So still a very interesting race. I'm very, uh, very happy we did this. I actually found it to be a perfect match in some ways. Some of you will say, well, this makes no sense. Like that's what it does make sense. They're both sedans. They probably compete for the same market. This car on the V6 engine will walk it no problem. We've tested out this thing is faster than the Accord. The Accord is faster than the V6. So that just tells you it would be a waste of time to do this versus the V6. No chance. Zero. Don't even try. That car, V6, will be three cars behind this thing. I know that for a fact because I've raced them. But anyways, with that in mind, this was still interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. And special thanks goes to Nima for letting me drive his beautiful car, the K5 GT. You know where to find him. Um, and most importantly, to Jake for allowing to come for this video. I love the man because he's very honest and most important, he's here to have fun. There's no personal feelings or anything like that. At the end of the day, it's just a race. We're here for fun. Stay safe. Cheers.